Uh, well, I think that I had the match under control until uh, 6 2, 5 4, and then played one really bad game. And then he, he won that set. Uh, he got, or he played much better than, got pushed also from, from a great crowd. Third set was, I think, uh, no break uh, from either side, and he played a great tiebreaker. But yeah, also had uh, in, in the back of my head that he already had a five setter in the first round uh, doubles yesterday. So I knew that probably he cannot really hold that level. So I just tried to stay in the match, and that's that's what I did, and that's what also uh, paid off at the end. There's a tie break. I'm curious what you think of that change here. That's the second year it's happening. And does that at all creep in your mind when you're entering the fifth set? Like you know there's an end point? Mm, not really. I mean, I I like it that way because I think uh, if, if, if the match ends at 6 all in the fifth, um, in the crowd and the players, everybody deserves a match tie break. It's, it's a great thing. It's... It's a really good tension in there. It's it's great to watch as well, and it's also uh, fairer to the players. As, as it, I think they introduced it because of, of Anderson uh, back in Wimbledon. Because if you play a few matches, I don't know, 2018 in the fifth or something, your chances to 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 play a great tournament at the end, uh, I mean, they go to zero almost. Worry that when you have early five-set matches in Grand Slam tournaments, that it that it will cost you. You know, at the end, I know you're very fit and you you trust in your fitness. But does it in the back of your head? Do you think, oh, I wish I'd just finished that one off quicker today? Of course it does, and but not today because it was nice conditions, was not hot, and the match I think was three hours twenty. So there's a big difference if you play three hours twenty in, in these conditions, or if you play I don't know, four and a half when it's forty degrees outside. I mean, then it can really affect your your later rounds. But the match like today, not really. I mean, that's that's what we practice for in the off season. Tomorrow's a day off to to recover. Uh, of course, it's it's better always to finish it off quicker. But like today, it shouldn't be any problem. How did the court play today? Some players have said that um, it's a bit heavy early in the tournament. How did you find it? I think that the court is similar like last year. It's pretty medium pace, but the balls, they get fluffy uh, after two, three games. I think that's that's more than last year and that, that's, that's more the different conditions than the court because they are, I think, pretty similar. So the conditions today you thought affected the ball more so than the court? Yeah. I mean, if you're pretty calm on the outside, when you're in a difficult situation like today, how crazy are you on the inside? Uh, depends. I mean, I, I got crazy today in, in the third set. I think body language uh, was not the best because it, uh, of course, was in my head that I should be 2-0 uh, up, 6-2-6-4, six, six, I should be up. Uh, I messed it up and instead of that, he raised really his level, the, the crowd got it going and it was all of a sudden a really tight third set and that shouldn't happen and that's why I was uh, yeah, freaking out inside and uh, also outside today. What, you, what were your thoughts on Alex's game as somebody who's you know, trying to push up into the top, top 100? Um, obviously he tries to uh, try to bring the game to you, you know, he hits pretty hard volleys, what were your thoughts on his game? Yeah, I mean he's... He's not really any weaknesses, a uh, good lefty serve and comes in pretty well. So, well, there's not not a single reason why he shouldn't get to the top 100 soon. But I think the most important is for, for all players like him just to keep up the great level they can play. They also prove they can play like in tournament like this and then also yeah, all the other weeks in the year. you uh, are in a difficult match like that and you look and you see Thomas Muster in your camp, does it actually give you added sort of incentive to keep fighting and never give up? 
Uh, well, I mean, uh, that should come really from myself. I mean, that I that I never give up, that I fight till the end. Uh, shouldn't come from anybody outside the box, but of course, it's it's a good feeling. Yeah. Thomas, with um, Thomas, did you? How often do you remind him that you beat him when you played it first time? Yeah, we keep that uh, quiet, I would say. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned uh, you like the atmosphere on the fifth set tiebreak. Do, do any come to mind that you saw that you know any matches that required that that you remember watching? Or um, yeah, I saw last year uh, Nishikori Carreño which was epic of course with with one tough decision and i mean things like that they only come with with a with a tiebreak in the fifth set because like this dramatic uh, or this close it will never get if you if you don't play a breaker at the end